What is going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we're going to check out what the Agent of the Nine brings to the table for the 11th week running. Now if you guys don't know who the Agent of the Nines is, he's a dude who visits the tower from a Friday morning to a Sunday morning and with him he brings along exotic items which you can trade for most of light and strange coins. Now he's located this week to the right of the tower so you want to spawn into the tower and follow the exact route I take and he's as far down to the right as you can go in the farthest corner you can see them guys around there like crowding up around him let's see what he has this this that, that, that this week okay 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 so he has no backup plans for the titan which are gauntlets these cost 13 strange coins increases the duration of force barrier increased melee attack speed increased reload speed with special weapons then we have young ahamkara spine which are hunter gauntlets um, which also cost 13 strange coins trick mine grenades last longer when placed increased reload speed with special weapons more super energy from grenade kills then we have void rank vestments for the warlock which is a chest armor enhanced axiom bolt spawn with grenade energy carry more ammo for hand cannons uh, carry more ammo for special weapons and then we have an exotic weapon we haven't seen with the agent of the nine it's the Mila multi tool which is a scout rifle this costs 23 strange coins I actually have this weapon haven't done a review on it yet still leveling it up but what I know of it so far it does seem pretty good I wouldn't say it's the best scout rifle in the game for sure, but it's definitely one to have for your collection if you're like me and you collect these exotics from the game. Um, if you're strapped for them strange coins, I probably wouldn't waste my strange coins on it. Uh, probably wait till next week until he has something better. But if you've got plenty of strange coins spare and you haven't got this weapon and you like to collect all exotics, then go ahead and buy it. It won't let you down. It's pretty beast. Don't get it twisted. Um, but it isn't the best scout rifle in the game by a mile. And then we have an exotic engram which you can buy for 23 mortars of light and then take to the crypt arc and have it decrypted. In this exotic engram, you could get a helmet for a warlock hunter or titan. It doesn't matter what clash you are. But guys, that is it basically for this week. Um, tell me in that comment section what are you going to be buying if you need any of these. If you don't, like me, um, just waiting for... I'm still waiting. I mean, this, this is what I made a video of this ages ago about how I believe Zer should bring uh, legendary weapons with him and legendary items with him. And I like, can mix them up each week. Because week in, week out, he brings the same stuff. Stuff I've already had and it's been the same for about, about five or six weeks now. But that's just the way it goes. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks as always for stopping by. Drop a like. I'd appreciate the support. And peace out until next time. Peace.